March 26, Tuesday of the third week of Lent A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive him? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not seven times, but seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decided to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way of paying it back, his master ordered him to be sold, along with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with compassion, the master of that servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much smaller amount. He seized him and started to choke him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. Instead, he had him put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant! I forgave your entire debt because you begged to me. You should not have had pity on your fellow servant as I had pity on you. Then in anger, his master handed him over to the torturers until he should pay back the whole debt. So will my heavenly Father do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart. The Gospel of the Lord 77 times we are familiar with the idea of unlimited or bottomless this means we are given the freedom to enjoy as much as we want of something sold to us if we apply this concept to human interaction like mending broken relationships why can we not offer unlimited forgiveness to people as jesus teaches in the gospel forgiveness and reconciliation bring peace and strengthen relationships. Let us always be open. Let us be always open to offering forgiveness. May we learn to live like Jesus, offering forgiveness without limit, forgiving even those who killed him.